edition of the Confession Podcast. I am uh I'm joined here by Stripes. Hello. Who will be drawing a Rick and Morty inspired piece of artwork completely from scratch. She's such a great artist. Oh my god, can you even believe it? <laughs> so I have well, uh, I'm picking it up from last time, but uh, I don't think that stream's around anymore. Oh, sweet God. So that's even worse, you know. I can't even refer back to another stream where she started this, where we were playing Final Fantasy. But let's face it, that stream was unwatchable. Um, Final Fantasy was not working so great on my computer, and that's unfortunate. But this stream is going to be so professional, it'll blow your mind. And the only people who are even going to be hearing this are people that, for some reason... Um, missed the stream entirely and are now re-watching from scratch. So I'm going to save pretty much anything I have to say until after while I pretend that the... Uh... You know it won't... Oh, okay, wow, I was trying to start a continue game when obviously this is the first time I played Lisa. I want to talk about what Lisa is and who gifted it to me. A game by ding -a -ling. It says that when you start the game up, it says it's oh. a game by ding -a -ling. Okay. Is that like the company's name or no game idea. dough? I'm hearing like watermelon noises, like you know, like somebody's punching a, <laughs> a watermelon. So I'm guessing someone's getting beat up, man. Oh boy. Hopefully, the noise from the game is not too loud and we won't be having those problems as usual. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't be capturing the cursor on the game. That's a bad idea, right? For RPGs. Oh my god, I may have screwed everything up. What happened? Nothing at all. You don't worry about anything. Yes. <laughs> no, but tell me what what's going on. I like lost. I can do this. I can do this. Except it's not even visible. What kind of world are we living in? Oh, no, wait. The screen's right there. Thank God. Fucking. I almost said fucking game, but like, it's OBS. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's stop the bed. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's, you know, had a great day or evening as we play. Was that a car? Someone's pulling in. What can I say? Pulling in. Stop. Go on. Stop. I'm getting beat up in this game, and somebody is really punching that watermelon. They're giving it the business. Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. Oh, I guess I'm like a little kid, and I stole somebody's ball, so now these kids are beating me the fuck up. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? Oh, you little bitch. Someone else fucking stole something. But they're still beating up this. Oh my god. Idiots. Um, um, Mango McMahon in the stream chat says, Notice me, senpai. You are noticed, Mango. Um, also, you know, Stripes is here. Surely you want her to notice you more. Remains unnoticed. It's, <laughs> you know, I, I notice you. Somebody really needs to get around to showing me how to, um, make it apparent that I'm streaming in the. How do you do it? Don't you change your name to say streaming or something? That's what I do, but I don't have like a Steam Steam group for that kind of stuff. How do I do it? Change your name or announce on Steam because I wouldn't know. I don't have a Steam group. Well, I meant the oh, Lord. Mango McMahon says, "I'm noticed. Dies in peace. You'll be fine." The real annoyer says, "Hello, hello everybody. It's been a while since the last uh." confession stream here to which I apologize um my internet's been having fucking retarded problems for a while so we're back now somebody has gifted me a game called Lisa um upon completing Undertale mm -hmm. and I would imagine that it's um at least somewhat similar so I hope to be in enjoying it let's go guys to reiterate i'm joined here by stripes who is drawing a rick and morty inspired piece of work from scratch the at, talent though at request from you yeah i did request it i suppose you know what can i say 
I'm just a little pixelated boy getting beat up in a game because I stole a ball or something. Even though I think this is pretty pathetic. It's a pr pathetic start to a game. And now that nothing's happening, I can assume that I can move. Can I jump? No, the simplest of, uh, of RPG functions has been robbed of me. So I should just walk from left to right pacing because I've been beaten up. Woe is me, woe is me. Amy86 has joined the stream. Hello, Amy. How are you? And Lady Spook is here. Hello, Lady Spook, she said, with four O's. That's how you know she wants the D. <coughs> awesome. At any rate, um, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing Lisa, and, you know, welcome to Confession Stream. Boy, have I been trying to do this earlier, but... I haven't been getting around to it. I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry you got beat up. I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry you got beat up. I'm sorry, Brad. So whatever I'm pressing is the wrong button. Because it's just making me pace from left to right. I think I should just walk off screen. Is that what I do? When somebody gets beat up, there's no console button. You didn't have to cover for me. I'm sorry you didn't have to cover for me. And he just stays on the ground like that. Um, you know, I'm coming from Undertale, so all I'm pressing is the Z and the X button. And there doesn't seem to be much more I can do um, on that front. So I'm just going to walk to the left. Internet guy said, send nudes, please. I mean, I don't think you want that. I don't think you could handle that. It's like a Missy Elliott song. I should really put on some music if this game's not going to dump jump into the music. Also, you guys should let me know how, um, how loud I, I want to say this shit is, because... You know, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how loud the game is. I turned it down, but could still be too loud. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. Is that an upside-down shopping cart and a man just lying under a tree? It's kind of creepy. I want everybody to take in the scene. Just a man lying under a tree. It's pretty weird. I'm just going to walk back this way. Um... We gotta stop playing these Earthbound styled games. I really want to get a uh, Left 4 Dead 2, but I mean, I need to calm down. Because if you guys have been around for the Left 4 Dead 1 gameplays, then you know exactly what I do with mods. And that's, maybe it's not a good thing for the channel, because it's probably just going to get taken down. So I press this button, and the door makes a noise to imply that maybe it's locked. I'm just going to keep going with my life. Um, here's a man with his lawnmower. Oddly making no noise, you know. Maybe I should talk to his uh, his balding, mustachioed ass. Um, you know, there's a there's a little chip in your window here, homie. You should get this shit fixed. You should get this shit fixed, old man. Oh, Bradley. When are you gonna learn, boy? When are you gonna turn that lawnmower on instead of just walking it around the, the clearly mowed grass? This is weird. This game's fucking weird. Everybody's car looks beat up as hell in this game. And why is the trash just here? Is it like, it looks like it's the end of the day. Maybe it's the beginning of the day? Let's not think too much into it. Um, Hunter Dodge. Hunter Hodge. Jesus Christ, my voice. That golden voice, though. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Hunter. Internet guy. Hi, noob. Nudes. I would love that. Internet guy says this ASMR Craigasm. Mango McMahon says, Hey Kyle, when that mixtape dropping? When you see me floating down with an umbrella, <laughs> call me nigga Poppins. That's when. The... Oh man. Real Annoyer. Hey Kyle, when's Metal Wolf? What's Metal Wolf? Oh. And why would you ask me when is that? You know, I think I hear music. From where? From the game? Yeah. I'm going to turn up the music until somebody tells me to turn it down. I think I hear music. I really hope it's not too loud, you know? Well, you're going to have to wait until you get feedback, I guess. Someone will let me know, hopefully. But yeah, welcome to the confession stream again, guys. I'm surprised that you guys aren't, you know, hitting me with all your juiciest confessions that you've had pent in for days. Lasting fame. I'm ready. I'm pushing a solid 8-inch boner right now. Congratulations, lasting frame. I mean, these are the things that you want to bring to my attention. This house looking beat 
the fuck up. This is kind of like. Oh my god, this is pretty creepy. And I'm certain that it's too loud, so I'm turning it down. I am certain that uh, not only is it too loud, but it's creepy as fuck sounding. Um, I just, you know... I can't even get out of the house if I wanted to. That's the fun part. So this is obviously, like, where I'm supposed to be going progression-wise. And it's creepy as hell. It seems that a light has turned on. Perhaps? Once again, my son steps into my house. Beat to shit. Oh, I'm not buying you another shirt. I think he just hit me with a bottle, Perla. Extra. <laughs> Perlastrious. Oh, boy. Okay, I turned it down. I turned it down. Man, the stream lit the fuck up. <laughs> oh, music. The revolution has begun. I'm gay. No one will see this internet guy, but I don't think you're, I don't think you're gay. Q laugh track. Guys, seriously though, is is it too loud now? There's no music playing now. I went to the room with the door that wasn't beat up thinking maybe it would be the dad's room, but... Oh, and then he's crying in his room because he got beat up. The game's called Lisa. Okay. Um, yeah, I, this is a really somber uh, game here. Well, you just I'm, started. You can't expect it to be that way the whole way through. I think I'm not making it exciting enough. So what we should, of course, do is talk about food. What are you going to eat soon? Um... Tostadas with chicken and avocado. I don't like avocados. That sounds like... You don't like avocados! That sounds like fruity, you know? But they're delicious. You don't like guacamole? No. Oh, but... but I know that's like a big part of, you know, the dishes and the... Like nachos and shit, but what do you want? I, I want to enjoy nachos with you. There's a man holding a baby, and he's saying, what the hell, uh, like he's surprised that it's crying or something, or that he's surprised that he has it. It's okay, little buddy. He dropped the baby. Okay, this is, this is pretty weird. All right, um, somebody's like, oh, I'm in a gay relationship with my Down Syndrome brother. We have regular sex. This guy should write TIFUs. <laughs> Alex Carson says, internet guy, the fuck? Mango McMahon. Aw, are you crying, man? The fuck up, you little shit. Man the fuck up. Okay, yeah. See, it cut off after the man, so I was like, what, what you sinner. I'm going to eat my Down Syndrome brother's dick. Stripes knows what's up. They're amazing. Um, my Down Syndrome brother's 12, by the way. All right. Let's get you somewhere safe, the guy in the game says to the baby. And I guess now I'm controlling some dude with a fucking baby, you know, walking through the desert. This is cool. Oh, boy. I mean, what you're doing is ten times more interesting than this, bro. Uh, are you straight? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't notice until you stand for. Shut up. <laughs> I'll try. I, okay. My God. What if that... Holy shit. Is that a baby? Yeah, guys. I got a baby. Found it in the desert. Whoa. A baby? Where did you get that? I don't know, man. I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait. You know what this means? This means there's a girl out there. Whoa. That means there's a hope for humanity? Is this a world with no women? 
I bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Oh my god. This is a world in which there are no women, perhaps. How is that possible? It's a girl. How do you guys know it's a girl at that age? Wow. You Would they have seen one if there's none? It's implied that if they probably checked it or something. We need to tell someone. Rando, if we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Dope, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. The Rando army would be better equipped for something like this. Hey. What the fuck? What the fuck indeed? M Mr. Mystery Writer says, the more you know. Um, I guess they're talking about the guacamole, of course. Stripes, look. Um. Yes? What do you think I'm going to get at Taco Bell? Is the real, uh, is the so real question. Something that's dripping in grease, I would imagine. Hey, fuck you, all right? Because that's <laughs> what the majority of your food is. Like, don't it's diss your own true. heritage. How you gonna diss your own heritage like that? I'm not. What, your shit isn't dripping in grease when you is. get your shit out of this foil? It's not dripping in grease? No, I'm saying I know exactly how it is, and I'm fine with it. Mm-hmm. Now... I'm going to get a beefy mini quesadilla and it comes in foil and it usually is dripping in grease and it's going to be delicious. You'll keep her a secret for your whole life. Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not going to give her up. So what we saw earlier was something of a flashback. Because I think Brad was getting beat up in the beginning of the game. Um, and he went home and his dad threw a bottle at him was like, again, my son gets beat up. And he went to his room and he cried. And now we see that he's found a girl in a universe that is implied doesn't have any women. And obviously the woman is like something of a golden ticket that they could use for uh funds or cool shit in their opinion but is is it like a recent development that there just happens to be no women or is this a thing that everyone i don't know if it was something that happened since their childhood mm. perhaps or because it was only just established as a factor like right. oh that means there's a chick out there you know what i mean there's hope for humanity after all blah blah oh boy lady spook says more vaginas Lady Spook would know all about that. Lady Spook sounds like the new sexual move that we should figure out and like try to execute. Mango McMon, I call the one with no tits. With no tits. Fine with me, bro. Devin Morrell, I just found out microwaves interfere with wireless earphones. Wow. Well, I guess we know that now as well. Oh, I think it's implied that they're digging a little room mm. um under where they uh where they live to hide the kid. But a kid would be dangerous like if any I don't know if there's like police that come for Is that really still his dad? Or is this a flashback of sorts? Well, um can you move is what I want to know. No, I'm watching some sort of in-game cutscene. Yeah, it was a flashback. It was a flashback. I think it's implied that even more time has passed and now this girl has come of age. Because she's standing and walking around outside the house. Oh, okay, like she just stepped out of the house a little bit and then Brad woke up and she ran back inside as if she knows that she's not allowed to go out. And now the girl's downstairs crying. Oh. I don't think the implication is that he's a bad father. Or, you know, adopted father to her. So much as maybe, you know, she just wants to be free, but she can't because she'd be raped. She'd be raped immediately in a world with no women. Pretty dark stuff. How are you going to start a game like this? Anyway. Mr. Mysterious Rider bringing you the latest Smackdown on Smackdown FM. This once again is the confession stream, people. And you guys should start actually confessing. But I think if I provoke that 
then you guys are just gonna start making stuff up <laughs> internet guy never gonna make it cry oh god King of the Hobos, never going to turn around and punch a watermelon. That's funny because I said that in the beginning. King's been lurking since the beginning of the stream. Nice one, King. Nice. Mango McMahon. Oh, the baby is the only girl. Insert pedophilia joke here. Hunter Hodge, save the children's. Mango McMahon, the child is a Jew. It must burn. Devin Morrell. Have you ever played Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor? No, bro, because I think at the time I was playing all of these other games and I didn't have the time to check it out. But I was really interested. It looks really good and really well done. Also, I like the Lord of the Rings universe, so, you know, I should check it out at some point. Internet guy, I already have confessed. I mean, I don't know how, you know, legit that whole you having sexual relations with your down syndrome brother is bro come on now come on now so i am just watching a variety of cutscenes in this game um hey somebody in a tree said you there this wild beast won't leave me alone there's a dog beneath the tree I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. The way that I'm describing it to you is like, is it's probably like perfect for a blind person watching the stream or somebody who's not even like watching the screen right now. I gotcha. I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. So give me a hand, will you? Well, so, you don't really have to describe it for me. I've got it open. I, I just went into battle. Hmm. Music's probably still too loud. Stream, you need to tell me what's going on with the music right now. Is the music too loud? Stream, how's the music? Internet guy is screaming, don't kill the dog, you faggot, in the stream chat here. Interesting. Um, Lady Spook says the music is fine. I don't know. Okay, she says the music's fine. All right. Um, don't kill the dog, it's fine. The music is fine. Um, you kill the dog, you kill the hog. What does that mean? So do I escape? That's not an option. So I fight Armstrong style? I don't have any skills. Um, I don't have any items. I have joy. What? This drug makes you feel nothing. What? Oh, makes you feel nothing as in you probably, you know, like, you know, take no damage or it's, uh... What's the word? Something to numb ya. Armstrong style cheese legs. Execute. Cheese legs bites down hard. What? W-A-S-D. Left punch, right punch, zipper punches, and double palm thrust. What the hell is this game? <laughs> Are you not having fun yet, Kyle? Shut up. I don't know what this is. Okay, that's that's all I can say really. Is that I am I am 100% unsure what's going on here. Hunter Jackson says it's K. You uh Mango McMahon, Kyle, the comment take a while to appear on your screen. Don't expect to appear instantly. I'm aware. I was trying to give you guys some time with that. Um responding earlier hunter jackson says what game is this it's lisa somebody gifted me this earlier and it's strange because after i completed undertale somebody was like oh you should play lisa and i never heard of it i don't know what it is but you know i like the way it started you know with that whole flashback to some kid being a miserable little pathetic whelp getting his ass whooped on a fucking basketball court going home and his daddy's all like nigga tired of your shit bitch not gonna buy you any more clothes because i'm tired of getting beat up on a, on a basketball court and he's all like you better man up and shoot them three point you know what i mean like 
pearl. Ooh, stripes. <laughs> <laughs> stripes. It's okay. No one will ever know your name. It'll be our close secret. <sighs> Alex Carson says it's everything and nothing. Okay. Cheese Likes keeps biting me. What do you mean, don't kill the dog? Is not killing the dog an option? Like, this is the strongest dog in the world. Brad won the battle. Look, there was no way to uh, deal with that otherwise. And then the person I saved says, you're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. Whacked out. Is it implied that I'm on drugs in the game? You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like, maybe you could handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? No. And this is not how you gauge whether or not, you know, I'm ready for a harder difficulty. Just put me through the fucking game normal, huh? That sucks. Suck my balls. Anyway, <laughs> I wouldn't have helped, but I like, like I said, I hurt my H string. All right. I'm a horrible person for killing the dog in the game, internet guy. It didn't seem like there was another way to take care of that, honestly. You are a horrible person. This stream is nothing but weird shot AMD stale comments. Weird shot. AMD. AMD. Never mind, I typed it. I got it deleted. Okay. I'm Terry Hints. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. Oh boy. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm pretty big deal, so, you know, I got a lot of fans. Okay, Terry. And then I tried to walk away in game. I love that. And then he goes, wait. <laughs> You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. You never answered my question. What do you think you're going? What do you think I'm going to get at Taco Bell? Oh, you just told me what you were going to get, like a beef quesadilla or something. A beefy mini quesadilla. Only in response to you saying I'm going to get something greasy, and that's probably like the greasiest thing I can you're imagine. You're asking someone who's never eaten at Taco Bell, so how would I know? It's terrible that you've never eaten there because then you have no comparison to you know what you would consider the real deal. Cool, it's settled. Terry Hintz joined me. He's part of my, like, party now. I didn't want this. And I don't want him following me around either because I have, like, an illegal girl, you know, in my under house. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have walked off the cliff and fucking killed myself. How about that? How about that? This was supposed to be a safe space for feminists like me. And then internet guy says, I need to go fap with my brother to calm myself down. Unbelievable, really. Unbelievable. Um. Hey, did I just kick a bottle over? I really wish I could know how uh loud the music was. And I think the only way to do that is to listen to the stream. Am I right? Unbelievable. Really. Well, you can have me do that. Unbelievable. Um. Hey, did I just kick? Let me mute over? you. Let me mute you for a second, and let's see. Well. Wow, you save at crows. That's pretty insane. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make firebombs with them. Or even just throw them in battle. So pick them up. Terry Hints. Oh, I get it. Terry Hints. How do I jump up to another level? I think the music's pretty quiet, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up and then piss people off. If you're alright with that. That's where it's at. <laughs> so I've turned it up to 18. We'll see how many people that makes angry shortly. 
There are no safe spaces when I'm around, King of Zahopo said. I think he means to imply that he gets in the buttholes. And people getting in the buttholes, that's, that's what it's all about. Welcome once again to the 13th Confession Podcast. We've had one entire confession tonight. And you know, all I gotta say is, whoa guys, slow that shit down. <laughs> you know, that, there's a there's got to be a limit here. I can't read them all. You know, I really did just walk off that cliff and kill myself. Game over. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit F1, which is the options button, and see what's going on with jump. Uh, is there is there a space? You know, is there a jump button? That it just be so cool. I don't happen to see a jump button. You know? Oh! How do I pick up? Okay, I get Okay. Alright. <laughs> well, that's all been put to bed. Unbelievable. Uber Noob arrives in the stream. Why do I feel like I recognize that name as something to not expect good things from? I typed a longer paragraph with more details, but it didn't send. Uber Noob says, why you know read 69 Chan Tard stories? And somebody else says, yes, exactly. What? Um, let me look at this. Rest here, I guess. Will that replenish my health? It's like a campfire. I can't believe I'm playing as a middle-aged man in this game. And you know what? I can't wait. If the game is called Lisa, she's going to be kidnapped, I bet. I bet we're going to get back home and the girl's not going to be there. And then we're going to have to, like, hunt people down who are all trying to rape her. And then by the time that we get back to Lisa, it won't. It, there won't be a point. She'll have been thoroughly used. And she'll be a broken mess. And, like, how do you end a game like that in a happy way? Seriously, Stripes? What's the happy ending there? And then we took her back home and she lived with the drama for the rest of her days. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Mango McMahon says, We decided to stay friends after the breakup. It led... Oh, my God! Okay, let's pause this and look at the damn stream first. Internet Guy says, You know when you're moving away from people you've known your whole life? I mean, emotionally. When you do your best to stay in touch with people, but they don't reply? Okay, yeah. Not even in groups, but they reply to everyone else. If you don't, you are super lucky. Believe me, and if you do, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're just jerks out there. They're people that pretty much do that kind of stuff all the time, unfortunately. The internet guy. Oh. <sighs> We decided to say friends after the breakup. It led to that. Okay. Natasha T has arrived and says, yes, tarred stories. Is this what you want? Look, I'll leave this to Lady Spook, who <laughs> who typed a bracket. That's probably one of the more interesting comments going on tonight, guys. Can I be honest with you guys? The bracket. It's my favorite thing here from Lady Spook. Internet guy, it wasn't as bad as when I realized that what was happening, but when... I did, I died a little inside. Some people are jerks. It has nothing to do with you, and you can't let how they act kind of reinforce your life and what's going on in it. King of the Hobos, oh no, Lisa Simpson is going to get destroyed. <laughs> Lady Spook, oops, accidental bracket. Sometimes accidents, you know, are good when they happen. They're great and good. Mango McMahon, my internet is being a cunt. Have you ever thought about reading a bad date stories? I have a lot of crazy stories just sitting around. What do you mean sitting around? That you've written yourself, Natasha? Honestly, Natasha, you write some stories and give me a dollar and I'll read them all. <laughs> Shit, I was getting a bit too real there. Um, I already died inside. Guys, the bottom line is some people are jerks, you know, and they only exist to use you when... um. Other people aren't available. Some people don't, like, you don't exist to some people un unless other people aren't available. That's the way that you got to look at it. It's particularly like with, like, some women. Uh, 
you know, they just, uh, they want a specific person's attention. It's really bad, you know, and in their world, in their mind, nobody cares about them if that specific person that they care about isn't giving them that attention. So you can shower people in whatever and say whatever and do whatever, but until things line up for them the way that they want it, they're miserable and they're always going to want more. I'm going to confess more, internet guy. Feel free to. Natasha T says, yes, they are written out. Where do I send them? Are you serious, Natasha? You write down your crazy date stories? I feel like you must enjoy them to a certain degree then. Or or is it just like a journal that you keep as a chick? Um, Internet guy says, so I was really hungry and there was no food munchies in my dorm room. I had a few apples, but I just didn't feel like eating anything sweet. I have these jars of spicy pickle with me. Spicy pickles that you put in your mouth, you fucking. With me and the last time I had some... Um, well, the next morning was bad. Flush, flush. 15 minutes in, I devoured two apples and a third of the pickle jar. Okay. You know, okay, man. After the breakup, we made out twice and only spoke of it once. Damn, man. It's not your fault, bro. But, you know, it wouldn't kill you to learn to make out a little bit better. A little bit harder. Uber Noob says... I pretty much gave you fifteen dollars, so please read Letard stories. When did you uh when did you give me fifteen dollars, Uber Noob? You trying to say you own me now? Don't make me send stripes to your house and fucking <laughs> harvest that asshole, you understand? She feeds off of the blood of fools, Uber Noob, and she'll kill you and eat you good. But not like like eat eat you, you know what I mean? Like the way that you want. She's going to cut you up and feed them to like the weird little hamster gerbil she's got running around. What are the names of your hamster jo- Is that too much information for you to divulge? That's just her name. I only have one and her name is Sugar. You named the gerbil Sugar? She's she's a hamster. She's white. Ooh, the only good, the only true color. Am I right? You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? Uh, something looks weird with one of the claws of that. Uh, I, I get you. The middle one. Right. This one. No! No? No. That one. But, like, you have reference pictures open, so what What seems weird about it? Maybe we're focusing on too, too stupid a thing. Like, maybe you need to bring it back and I need to not even, like, think about it. Because it's going to be so small in retrospect. Look, 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 look. In the game, I got back home and somebody just said, the secret's out brad and there's blood all over the place so the girl was literally kidnapped seconds after i said um what was gonna happen i can't really tell you oh boy come on bro this looks serious someone close to me is missing i need to find that person that's really all i can say oh shoot that's sad dude I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess, considering I'm a very strong warrior. Terry Hintz joined you again. Hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, boy. Um, Kyle, what the fuck? Why explain asshole devourment? <laughs> did I say, did you say you're going to, did I say you're going to devour his asshole? No, you said explicitly I wouldn't. Yeah, I said that. I think I said that she was gonna get in that asshole to imply that you know he was she was gonna get raped good, because that's like stripes department. Not like you know anal rape, but like just like your life. It's gonna be. Oh my god. I think you're making it worse. He's dead. He's dead. You found a rusty knife. Can I equip that rusty knife? Oh my god, this is pretty brutal right now. The game's gotten pretty brutal. It's, uh... Holy balls. That's unfortunate. Natasha T says story time. The first time I ate ass, just kidding, it was uneventful. Where do you go with a story like that? What do you say with a story like that? Weapons, rusty knife. It's only in one way, really. Do I auto equip weapons? Equipment, Brad. 
Um, I'm using sweaty wristbands. I'd like to equip. I can't equip the fucking. <sighs> Can this idiot equip the knife? No. So what the hell is the point of this knife if I can't equip it? Don't use it on your dinner. You'll get sick and can cause poison. I'm out of here, man. The fact that this game's not playing music half the time makes me feel like I should put on music of my own. But here it is, guys. Um, we're on a journey to find one of the last women in the world who, for some reason, I was raising because I found it as a baby and I had some kind of emotional attachment to it. Um, you know. We already know. We already know what's going on. Blood time. Wiggle, wiggle down. Trickle on the big ol' whiz. Looks like there's something on the ground. Can we pick it up? You found a mystery jerky. Hopefully it can help me health-wise when I start sucking them cocks in the future. Um, let's see. Alex Carson, still, that's fucked up, bro. Hi, 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 says Retta He. We only stopped making out, um, when the security guard walked in on us. Security guard from where? Were you guys at school? The story is so cute. We're only getting it in bits and pieces, Mango. You're doing where, great. Where does this all sure. start? I'd like to know. Just all you need to know is I think he's telling us that, you know, some girl that he was uh, in the midst of uh, talking to, perhaps, uh, you know, just stopped talking to him, as you can imagine, unfortunately. You know, girls are bad. They do that kind of stuff. Six. Internet guy, I have a crush on our local delivery guy, so I order all kinds of shit just to see him. It started six weeks ago when I had ordered a new electric fan and he delivered it. Okay, what is this, you know? It's fucking Scott Pilgrim versus the world now. Uh, you know, the worst part about the... Oh! I walked off the map and the game over. Anyway... I feel like the worst part about the confession stream is that sometimes, and you know, I, I probably shouldn't even mention it, but whatever. Uh, sometimes people just probably find some terrible creepy pasta online that they think is hilarious, right? And then come copy paste it into the stream. Probably we reword it a little bit so that it can fit easier. And then I end up reading it and they have a good chuckle and swear that somebody else watching the stream is just like, oh man, that was so good. <laughs> but it'll never be pissing on a pizza. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it'll never be pissing on a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> There's just blood everywhere. Like, somebody came through here killing everybody. Some characters can use combos in battle via the WASD buttons. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering a specific combo in your skills menu when you can find out how to do special moves by looking at the button sequence. Example, WWS does buster punches. Does that make sense? Wary Terry. So some other guy is like leaving fucking, oh wait, Terry is wary now. He used to be Terry Hints, but now he's Wary Terry. Hmm. Um, Natasha says, oh no, I'm lagging. I think everybody may be lagging then, which is bad. Um, when you yelled, I dropped my water. I'm sorry, Devin. I need to keep this like... <laughs> did you, know, you yell? I probably did when I died. And I was like, no! Nah. Oh yeah, when you dropped off the edge. Oh boy. Internet guy says, it was a movie theater and my movie wasn't going to start for 45 minutes. I didn't go, in, I didn't go into the bathroom intending to jerk off. But a guy came in right after me and I couldn't go. I pulled out my phone and realized I hadn't done it for a few days. So I did it, wished I hadn't done it immediately after I finished. The piss pizza. You know, that confession is pretty weird. And I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. um, it's not exactly great enough. Oh, whoa, I want that little bitch all to myself. I guess we're battling now. We're battling black dude with a pole. Um, you can actually see the impression of the background from earlier still on the... This is just a an interestingly <laughs> lazily made game. Gotta, like, it's charming to a certain degree, I guess. 
What the fuck was that, Terry? I hit him with the WASDA, alright? Because you can use WASD. Terry is bleeding out, is that what it said at the top? Brad Armstrong family style karate. Okay. WSSDS, I hit him with a WSS. WSSDS. Okay. Um, I really should make a video of, uh, like, voicing Pikachu. See if anybody <laughs> be interested, that's what I need to do. Did you... Did, there was, like, this... Oh, all these change... to get Danny DeVito. Yeah, but these change petitions never go anywhere, even if they do get, like, to the important amount of signatures that you're asking for. I guess they're just really for statements that don't really go anywhere anyway. But, yeah, I think you should do it. Terry's been missing all of his attacks. Run away. Hello. Do you mind if that's your nickname? No, I don't. Wait, was that your your sister? Alright guys, um Stripes has a sister that I like to pretend is her twin. Why do you hate me, Kyle? Why? <laughs> I wouldn't say I hate you, bro. Oh, yeah, it was at school. I broke up with her. Don't know why, but we ended up making out in the hallway. Stairs next to the hallway. Okay. Internet guy, I don't really know why, but I have been attracted to Uggs for a while now. I like them so much that I am contemplating buying some for myself. I don't like the male Uggs. I like the girl ones. Dude, I'm pretty sure you, well, I don't know, I guess you know yourself better than I n know you, but I would hope that you just like the way Uggs look on girls. Sometimes Uggs, you know, some, girls are, they're, they're girls, you know, they do their stupid little tight ass legging and Ugg wearing bullshit and you can't help but just like, like the curvature of their anatomy. But it doesn't make Uggs good-looking shoes. I think you'd feel quite differently if you saw yourself in a mirror wearing some Uggs, sir. But, you know, I don't know. Natasha T says, I was 19. I was in public library on the computer and started looking up Sergeant Sodomy preview vids on YouTube. I was getting kind of tingly, and then my <laughs> computer just shut down. Internet guy, is this normal or am I just crazy? Like, I've heard my female friends say they are really uncomfortable. Why Why did your female friends say that they're uncomfortable around you? Oh, 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 that the Uggs themselves are uncomfortable. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry that you felt tingly, Natasha. I would really <laughs> like some kind of a manifesto, so to speak, like a really a, a collection of just your shit, Natasha, because I know that you get down to that freaky shit. Devin Morell says, normal people are like that, but emos like me are a lot different. How are you emo, Devin? Tell us all about it. Regale us. This old salmon swimming downstream tonight. So did I kill that guy? What does it matter if Terry levels up if he's just going to miss all of his attacks? Terry, the hinters, hinster is moving all up. I'm sorry if I'm not paying enough attention to the stream to know, but do you get a party? Or is it just... Yeah, I get a party, like that Terry hmm. jackass that was supposed to be, he's like, oh, I'm the lord of tutorial, and like leaves hints all over the place. Uh, he joined me, so yeah. I, it's thought, like a... I thought that was someone in chat or something that I missed. I was so Oh, confused. yeah, sorry, I've not been, uh, you know, I want to say dealing with that too gingerly. And that's my own fault. Natasha T, my stories. I'll send it to you. Raccoon Like says, Ah, hey, confession stream. I got some conf some shit to confess. Also, Terry is a good farther in the game. Terry's a good farther. Farther. But isn't, you know, Brad, who I am, supposed to be the, the wannabe father figure, you know, trying to get that girl and raise her when it's clear that, you know, apparently there's a woman shortage in game. So, you know, everybody's trying to take and rape this chick. 
if she hasn't already been messed with already like that's the idea is that if there was a real woman shortage she wouldn't last a minute in the wrong hands without bad things going down this game's maybe a little bit too dark and I don't know how they're gonna deal with it I can't believe it such an ugly girl oh my god he's dead the girl's ugly it's kinda rude he's dead everybody's dead ladies and gentlemen everybody's dead um I mean, Devin Morrell says, I know what an emo is. I just want to know, yes, I do know what an emo is. I'd like to know about your escapades as one. Tell me some emo shit that you've done and you feel and you are. And when you wake up, you just, hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. Hey, it's free experience, bro. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. Yeah, it's free experience. This guy's almost dead. And I'm just going to, I'm going to fuck him in the balls. Let's hit him. I should have hit him with the Wazda. How is this dead guy like fine? I hit him with the Wasass, guys. Hey, do you think ass is an attack? I hope so. Oh, but I didn't get the chance to hit him with the ass attack. How many times is Terry going to level up and do no damage in battle? It's really starting to piss me off. Oh, boy. Um, Let's see. Sort of emotional. People say I have unstable emotions. Okay. Maybe it was a little too far when I broke someone's phone when they took a picture of me. Wow, Devin. You're edgy, bro. Mango McMahon. I must leave the chat now. This was nice. Goodbye, all. I'll see you soon, Mango. I'll see you soon. Compliments to Stripes. Keep it up. Oh, you thank that, you. At least one of us is doing something that's, you know, worth the time. <laughs> Seriously, I need you to answer the damn question. What did your What did your sister want? She just wanted to tell me that she's done moving in and she's going to be over tonight. Or probably every other night. Gross. What about her husband? Oh. Well, alright. So the situation is there's a house outside. You that know what? We are, um, we're on stream. Maybe we should say this earlier. Really... It doesn't matter. No, it's matter. fine? Okay, cool. You can go. Uh, there's a house outside that used to be our playhouse up until we were, of course, eight years old or something. And it's been, like, retooled. It's got a bathroom. It's got a nice living space. It's basically... A home, just and um, it's a home in the backyard. Basically, it's it's nice. I don't know if it's legal to have plumbing down, plumbing back there, but it's got it. Huh. So it's just a a separate room that's separate from the house. Well, it was worth it. I found a secret stash of fifty magazines. It was worth the hundred damage. Sorry, I was busy trying to figure out how to get to a certain spot to get something that I saw. When in real, okay, took ten damage. There's not even anything here. There's something on the ground though. So I guess you know you'll be dealing with your Weasley voiced sister. That's so cute. <laughs> Weasley. I mean, she busts and she's all like, "Hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I just took 10 damage when I could have just gone down the fucking rope. I hope that I'm not going to die. How do I, like, check my shit again? Dude, Hint Lord's got, like, 83 HP. I should just go back and save the game, see if I can find that stupid, uh... You know, that I found, like, a campfire at some point. And if you have an RPG and I can't just, you know, backtrack to get some free HP from a campfire instead of wasting all my fucking items, then... What am I expected to do in these games? As Kyle looked back to the chat, I noticed that people were somehow in it and writing things. Not bad, guys. Raccoon likes as shit. Confession number one. I've been talking to this girl I met while playing Left 4 Dead 2. You know I want Left 4 Dead, Raccoon? <laughs> Le I want Left 4 Dead 2, and you're just you're bumming me out. And for a couple of months, I decided to send her dick pics today because i'm pathetic she sent nudes back but 
After a bit of confusion and then talking, I found out she's only 13. You're lying, dude. You're lying. 13 years old. You're lying. You're lying, bro. You're lying, bro. You're lying, bro. A 13-year-old did not send you fucking nudes back. What was there? Like, nothing? She wasn't one of those stacked 13-year-olds I keep hearing about. So, like, dude, that it was immediately just like, but there's nothing here. That must have been your, <laughs> like, reaction. You're just like, where are the... What's going on? And then she's like, What do you mean? I got my hot 13-year-old body here just for you. Let's play some Left 4 Dead. Watch out for that witch. You know what I mean? That's what you do. <laughs> oh, my God. I roll. <laughs> Raccoon, you came in. Ah, it's a, I don't believe you, Raccoon, but it would it would be the best confession of the stream forever. For any stream ever, forever. Oh, it would be so good. I can't believe you, though. Sorry, Raccoon. <sighs> Natasha T. One time, a guy begged me to go on a date, and I went, and it was at a bar. Dude double booked homeless. What? Dude double booked homeless himself with dates that day. He had his GF on one side, me on the other. Dude double booked homeless himself. Is she trying to say that maybe she double booked? He but he double booked and invited the girlfriend and her somehow. You know that's fucking weird. Um, why would you do that? And then made himself homeless. Maybe he was staying with a girlfriend. I don't know what that means. Lady Spook has finally given us a confession, and um, you should go to Lady Spook's channel and check out her voice. It's so, it's so sensual stripes but I lady spook says confession was in a sex shop oh wow i didn't know lady spook got down like that damn was in a sex shop knocked a vibrator over and it turned on and knocked all the others over <laughs> was left standing awkwardly trying to pick up a thousand dicks that were spinning around on the floor you know <laughs> The credibility of these fucking, like, these might as well be TIFUs because you guys, you guys are the worst. A thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, I broke the toilet paper thing. You know, Devin, that's a fucking plausible, practical, believable fucking confession. And congratulations. I'm glad of you for coming forward and telling us, you know, it's it's not that big a deal. They're not that difficult to replace. They're, they wouldn't be expensive. It's not the end of the world. In my bathroom, I kind of just put the toilet paper on the uh, uh, sink, you know, or somewhere near yeah. the, uh, the bathtub anyway. And, you know, it's <sighs> fucking... I have a perfectly working, you know, functional toilet paper roll, but I'm just like, yo, fuck that. You fuck couldn't that. be bothered to put it on the roll? It's not even about bothering to put it on the roll. I just don't, you know, I don't want to. I don't like it. I don't like that. Something about that. Ah, I don't like it there. <laughs> I don't like it there. It's weird. Um, Yeah, I guess we've all learned something today. I don't know why I didn't ask before. Raccoon. Oh, man. What did she sound like? This is the thing. I want Left for Dead too. Okay, Raccoon. So you need to you need to first and in this order cut the 13 year olds out of your life if that's what's really going on on confession podcast number 13. And um my god, bro. It's looking really good here, Stripes. It's looking really Thank good. You. Your animation style is so cute. Did I pay you for this or do I have to? You don't have to and you No, 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 I haven't. So I'm going to need to. I'm going to want to pay you for this and I actually have another thing planned. You know my oh. logo on my page? You you want me to do a banner or? I don't know if I want you to do yes. I think at the end of the day, yeah. I think I want to well, commission you for a banner. What do you what do you have in mind? Pretty much like some of the shit that I already have on the banner, but kind of done bigger. So it's right. exactly like the thing that you did for that guy's Twitch. Sure. Yeah, but I want like you know Phoenix Wright in his objection pose. I want like a little thing rolling a katamari with like a pokeball on it. You know, stupid shit like that. Just like totally nerdy, 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 nerdy stuff. Um, well, I'd, l I'd want to offer my own spin on it just so you know. Obviously, obviously. You know, I want to give you all I, of I'd hope that's what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For you to just have some fun. Otherwise, you could just cobble together that yourself. Yeah, like I have. <laughs> um, 
Natasha T. On the other thing, he was going back and forth between us. I figured out that what was going on and just sat at the bar and drunk everything. Like, why were... <sighs> You really, like, how, why would he need to beg you out if he was there with his lady is the weird part, Natasha. Mango, before leaving, where else could I find stripes on the internet? Oh, I fucked up here. So let me go ahead and open up something really quick to get your, um, and I should just put your for affinity gallery, right? Uh, that's really it. I mean, I have a Twitter too, but, but. Okay. I mean, there's that. If you would prefer. Um, I don't know if I can edit that into the uh, the stream right now. Don't even worry about it. Oh, no, I can't. And I shouldn't even be worrying about trying to do that. I can just put it in the fucking chat. Like, I am so brain dead right now. It's pretty outrageous. That being said, um, yeah, you can find her here um, at the link I just posted. Um... Holy shit, guys. Are people commenting that fast? About what? Because it seems like I just pressed enter and some guy put like a thing in there. Whatever. Okay. Before Lee... Okay, yes, God. I was so sad. I felt like trash. Guys do things like that in real life. Guys are just stupid. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that you had to be involved in that. But, you know, and this is going to sound totally rude, Natasha, but it's the truth. It's how the world works. You're going to hurt somebody, um, Natasha, in your future if you haven't already um, in a way that will make up for it, you know, for the hurt that you received at his hands. You're going to redistribute that back into the cosmos and it's going to be fucked. And in the same way, he will get hurt by somebody else because, you know, he's an asshole living an asshole life. And I apologize. Raccoon says, Kyle, I can't laugh any harder. Stop. You know, I can't Left for Dead 2 any harder because you guys won't let me get it so I can download all the nudity mods and play that online. And I've been looking around the internet and seeing some nudity mods in Skyrim and fucking Dragon Age Inquisition that are fine. So why can't I have breasts in Left for Dead making me seem like the pervert that would steal <laughs> some little kid in a game where there's no women in it? But you know what? Whatever. Natasha T said, I didn't mean to say homeless. How does that word slip out of your fingers, sweetheart? <laughs> because you wrote it. You wrote homeless. <laughs> She's on her cell phone. I didn't know that people watch this shit from their cell phone. It's pretty legit. Damn cell phone. What the fuck is going on with these dumb confessions? Um, Lady Spook says more like 10. So Lady Spook was in a fucking uh, sex shop. I wonder if she was getting herself a vibraber. Vibraber. Yes. My braver. My braver. Let me type that into the stream chat. So, my braver. It's probably going to be the name of the stream. My <laughs> braver. My braver and thirteen-year-old uh, gamer. Oh my god, the hot thirteen-year-old <laughs> gamer, Devin Morell. I mean, at school when I had a mental breakdown, this came out of nowhere. Devin, what are you talking about, dude? This guy hasn't had a. Okay, I broke the toilet paper thing. At school when I had a mental breakdown. Oh. That definitely changes the story, dude. Like, why? You know? Why? And I'm thinking, like, is he was he at one of those schools where the toilet paper things were, like, the industrial kind? You ever see them where there's, like, four or five toilet paper rolls in there? And it's kind of like a big thing? Oh, boy. What do you sound like, Kyle? This is what I sound like without the voice enhancement. You're such a piece of shit, faggot. Like, you really think that I don't sound like this? You're an idiot, Dartro. Like, I think that you're joking, but just in case you're not, you're an idiot. And you literally hear how high and crazy and nuts and all over the place I get with my voice. And you think that I'm modifying it? Like, it's, like, hard to believe that somebody has actually hit puberty. One day, maybe it'll happen to you, raccoon. One sec. Gonna see if enough to just buy you Left for Dead 2 and still buy all my anime bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder if he's living that life for real, you know? I... I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. I'm not joking. I know a lot of women who are living that life right now. Like, remember I was telling you about some of the girls I know that buy, like, those lollicon outfits and shit? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And some of them complain to me about how, you know, uh, they don't have enough and they want this and they want that. But basically, all they do is they're cute for a living. 
they right. they take their dumb little cutesy look at me cosplaying but like with my booty all out my tits all pressed together um don't they have to have like tiny titties to fit into those though not the ones that i see these are like um these girls are pretty like i don't want to call them bbws but they're they're curvy they're curvy who is this guy that i'm fighting i'm fighting a guy mate named sugar mountain swear to god man Dartro's trolling. Okay, Dartro, you have a great chime with the vibrator. Um, Lady Spook says, haha, no, I wasn't buying myself a vibrator. She's already got some of those. Lady Spooks already know. I would like I, I wonder like when like I wonder if when Lady Spook holds her vibrator and like puts it in, if she holds it firm like with the thumb under? You know? Or with No, the... I don't. What? Not you? Oh, you don't wonder, you mean. Okay, good. Look, you still haven't answered my question about whether or not um, Taco Bell is something that, you know, what am I going to get there? Mango McMahon, who I explicitly remember saying he was leaving the stream, said, I was texting with my ex, the one previously mentioned, and she might be anemic. Oh no, dude, that sucks. Isn't that the one where you just bleed out if, if you bleed because it won't, it won't clot or something? I'm probably mixing those up. Balach Tusquez says, I'm laughing too damn hard. Dartro plot twist. Kyle is secretly a squeaker. Yeah, I'm secretly 13 year old, you, you <laughs> fucking assholes. Like, and I can't wait to send you guys some illegal dick pics so that you guys could go to the fucking jail. You think that's how it works? Like, kids just guy like, yeah, I'm gonna send my body all over the place. <laughs> and as soon as they get those messages, they're going to jail. <laughs> like, you just send out naked pictures of yourself when you're 13 and then call the police on them. Check his phone right now! Check your guy's fucking phone right now, god damn it! And then, like, before, and then the worst part is, I can also, like, bait them into putting in the on like their computer or, like just be like hey I just sent me pictures of my body can you like upload the pictures on your dad's computer because I don't want them on your phone that'd be bad and then <laughs> when they put them on the dad's computer dude dude it's so easy to ruin people actually sorry kind of got off topic there Devin Morell yeah had like four different toilet paper rolls in it yeah I totally guessed what type of toilet paper dispenser he fucked up at school. That's, yeah. You gotta be putting in a lot of effort to bust one of those. Yeah, I, I, I imagine you just sitting on the toilet and maybe kicking it or something. Or maybe if you don't want to sit on the toilet, you're like jumping on it or something. I don't know, man. Chris Saris, I once woke up in the kitchen covered in orange juice. Man, that's how you know you're partying hard, I guess. Mango McMahon, I broke down laughing at the puberty part. Oh, boys. King of Zehobos, you're fighting Macho Man Randy Savage. He wishes he was Macho Man. Oh no. I I I just need to kill this guy. I'm gonna hit him with like my uh my ass attack. Sugar Mountain is astounded, but I'm gonna hit him with the ass. Ass, ass. Dude, it's really only just Brad fighting. We need to get Terry out of this game. What the fuck? Terry just did negative two damage to the guy. Is he giving him health? Ooh. Yo, Terry, the Terry, the guy who was giving me hints, who's just like, hey, I'm gonna join your journey or whatever. But this guy really does suck. I get, I ah oh man, I gave him some kind of like combo just now, and it was good, but I wasn't paying attention. We should get you darkest dungeon. What's Darkest Dungeon? It's um. Uh, it's a game like this, but it has combos. It's a dungeon crawler RPG, turn-based RPG. It's a turn-based RPG with combos. And it's also a dungeon crawler. That's very confusing. If you're into that. I think we just need to like get. Uh, I don't even know half the time. Um. My god, I'm not paying attention to the stream, and I apologize, guys. Natasha T. Pokemon came out when I was in fourth grade. I wasn't allowed to watch Pokemons because Why? my mom heard the names were devil worship. <laughs> yeah, aren't parents fucking stupid? And they'll just believe any bullshit that some idiot with a mic and a suit suck. It's a shame, dude. It's a fucking shame. And some people were robbed of, like, being, like, creative shit when they were younger because people were ignorant i didn't watch it until i was in the eighth grade i'm sorry dartro says lion maker hashtag um natasha t no one cared about them but me i didn't care or lion breaker okay 
God, you guys are just in intervening on each other's. Can you do a Bill Cosby impersonation, please? Please try. Okay, let's see here. Oh, duh. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. Oh, uh, you see? No, wait. You see? <laughs> You're on the right track. Go on. You take the jello pudding. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, oh, uh. No, I don't know. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I can do a, I can do a pretty good Scooby Doo, but that's not gonna happen either. Get it? Says Dartro. Terry is a traitor. Oh, spoiling shit in the stream. Are you King of the Hobos? I didn't know it was like that. Chris Saris, I recently got off the phone with the fake Microsoft tech support guys, and I made them cry. There's fake Microsoft tech support. Probably just telemarketers. You mean that call and say that they're one thing, but they're really not. You know, I didn't know that people were going to be coming in the stream spoiling games for me when they're not gifting me Left 4 Dead 2 that I want. Y'all are crazy. Raccoon Like says, Terry does like status effects and shit. He gets better later. Trust me. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to try and do some status att attacks with, uh... Hopefully she's already dead so I can see her in hell. But if... Uh, some people thought she was ugly and now he wants to see her as he goes. Weird. You guys are weird. Oh, boys. Um, ugh, Mango. Hitler has decent morals. I believe in like half of them. You know, totally edgy. Now, that's what I call edgy. You know, man, you are bringing Morty to life here, Stripes. I don't think I don't think Morty's ever been animated so intense. Like, oh, man, this is looking good. You're not supposed to give. I, I don't I, I feel like I should stop you before you yeah, give but... it too much attention. Because this is coming out really good. It's coming out like uh, it's gonna it's gonna hurt my pocket, lady. You know, so. Well, you're if you're gonna pay me, just give me as much as as uh. You it think, would cost. Well, no, I shouldn't say that either. Why? You're, you're gonna oversell me. Oh. Damn. Look, I'll figure it out, and you're you're earning it. Look at you. Look, look at you look, go. Look, 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 look. With what I requested. This is, I consider this a gift. So anything you give me is just going to be considered a tip anyway. I bet you would. You want gifts from me too, and then you're raising your eyebrows. You don't. I don't. You don't want. You don't want any gifts from me. What's the silence about? <laughs> just like flipped over cars and dead bodies all over the place. But thank God there's a crow on the fucking tree implying that I can save this pussy ass game. I'm having a good time. Um, by the way, everybody, uh, welcome again to the 13th iteration of the confession stream. In here we had, uh, who was it earlier? Was it Raccoon that said that he was playing Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah, game with that, a 13-year-old. A game that somebody is probably going to try and gift me tonight. Oh my god, I'm so calling it. Um, with a 13-year-old, okay? And that he didn't know until after he got the nudes. I don't believe it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You're going to jail. My graper. <laughs> Oh boy, Lady Spook. That'd be a video. That'd be a video that would go so viral, Lady Spook. Just saying, low hanging fruit. Lady Spook and the Vibraber. Instant, instant, you know, collab, okay? <laughs> Between the Vibraber and Lady Spook. Um, can you imagine like a Vibrator, uh, uh, like introducing itself, you know? Would it have subtitles for the, the various verse it gives up? Yes. The various burrs? Is that what you said? I said verse, but whatever. Verse? <laughs> you just gave a phonetic fucking noise to... Uh, you're, you're breaking my brain. Oh, boy. Natasha C says, are you a Jew? Because this dick is real. Get it? Israel? <laughs> it's fucking awful. Latasha says lol at the uh, at the impersonation. Um Chris Wait, Saris Bill what? At your Bill Cosby? Yeah. Kayla Winget says take his gifts, girl. Oh, Kayla Winget want you to take these gifts. I don't believe the story, internet guy. I need pics for truth. No, y'all don't. Y'all don't want gifts of underage girls. That's not how the FBI works. You don't want those pictures. Blorgus and Glumper. Oh, boys. 
BRB going to pirate Left for Dead to JK. Um, BRB robbing the bank so I can buy Kyle Left for Dead 3. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> he's going above and beyond. That's how you know Raccoon is like all about it, you know. Left for Dead Three, and then he's gonna he's gonna go into the future. Press, please prank call some PC tech support scammers. That'd be a video. That'd be a video. I, 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 that sounds like a series of videos. It's just me answering the phone to assholes and like you know pretending like I don't. Oh my god, did I just get hit by a fucking ice cream truck? I suffered serious damage. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Is that man riding like a cute little Bambi? While like hardcore music is playing? Can we not? Natasha T, did I confess that I got groped during a bra fitting from an old lady at Lane Bryant when I was 21? I think I confessed that already. Lane Bryant has great bras, FYI. Horrible clothes. Um, Marcelino Arguijo started the stream hearing about underage girls. Hey, bro, it's, you know, it's not me. These people are confessing these things, and I owe it to them to read it. Yeah, Morty got a fat finger. You like that fat ass finger? Talking about this is the one I use on the girls. Can you hear that well? Can yes, hear, I can. Can you? Do you need me to do it again? Hold up. <laughs> oh god. And then you're like, uh, and then somebody comes into the stream, right? And they're like, what's happening? Oh my god. Anyway, howdy, motherfucker, says the dude on the Bambi. Um, our paths have crossed yet again. Is this the guy that used to beat my ass on the basketball court? That's fucked up. That's years ago. And you just remember me. That's years ago, and that's fucked up. Uh, Natasha, do you really believe you were getting, um... That you were really getting felt up at Lane Bryant? I mean, maybe she was just, you know, being thorough and making sure that it sits well. I can tell you from girls that I know with, like, huge breasts that can never find bras in their size that... Almost have to, um, well, there's a Jamaican term called having to box food out of dog mounts. But what it means is that they basically have to go extreme lengths just to pay for something um, that they wouldn't normally want to, you know, spend excessive amounts of money on. So there's literally a subreddit um, for women trying to, women trying to, like, exchange bras exchange big ass bras that they've either outgrown or you know don't need etc and you know girls obviously upwards over the double d or like they have like interesting postures and cups where you know you name it um i think the name of the reddit is let me look it up and then actually provide some some context a bra that fits reddit why does Kyle know about these types of things, you may ask? And, um, as a connoisseur of breasts, uh, it is my, um... <laughs> Go what? On. You like the burp? It's it's so eloquently timed. Oh, well, you're welcome. I love, I love... Ooh. Look, guys. The message wouldn't allow me to send it in my own fucking stream. Isn't that crazy? Just type that into Google and it should take you to the Reddit because there's a Reddit called a bra that fits where women are indeed looking around for a bra that is in their size. Um, to anybody who may have just joined the stream at like what could have been possibly the worst timing. Um, welcome to the 13th iteration of the confession stream. You are free to confess in the night and tell me all of what, you know, I think I screwed up the, uh, the spacing on the um that Rick and Morty's looking pretty good balls. I think I screwed up the spacing on something. Whatever. You gonna stick a dick in that? Stick a dick in what, homie? Stick a dick in what? My old teacher gave penis examinations in the toilet. He was a male. No, he didn't. My old teacher gave penis examinations in the toilets. He did not. You guys are... Come on. 
This lady used her hands to grab and squeeze my breasts for three minutes. They said, I think you're a 38D, but let me double check the measurements. You know, I wish I wish it was me. I wish that I could be a bra fitter somewhere. Bitch was not supposed to use her hands to cut me up. Well, I mean, sometimes that's what you got to do. Was she Asian? Tell me if she was Asian. Our paths have crossed yet again. I do fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it, like your head in the dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now, but I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow shirted friend's life or all of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? All of my belongings, dude. Hmm, how boring. All right, boys, strip him quickly. I hear tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Oh, my God. So am I going to be naked now? All of your stuff has been taken. Why did they leave the itchy poncho and all of this bullshit? I didn't have anything. The game just started, so there was nothing to lose. He wasn't even awake to know that I did this for him. Ugh. Gay. This game's on the gayness. And I want some fucking Taco Bell. Do you even know what it's like? I don't know what it's like. You don't even know what I'm going to get. Can I tell you what I'm going to get? Mm -mm. Go on. I should probably just buy Left 4 Dead 2. I don't know. It was an old black lady, Natasha said. Hell nah. Hell nah. So let me read that all again. Let me read it again, and she was all like, and she was all like, let me just double check now, Chad, Chucky Bell. Mm, you got them big titties, but hold on, let me, let me make sure, and then I gotta, hey, you could give me some malt liquor? I'm talking, that's so fucking, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just teasing, I'm just, what's the, what's the big deal? Juice suck more. Juice suck more. How do you guys feel about this whole fine bros trying to license, uh, react videos? How hilarious is that? That shit is old school hilarious. Natasha, I was joking. Oh my god, Natasha, I was joking. Oh my god. Oh my god, Natasha, I was joking. Hey, Kyle would like to throw a... Uh, I almost called my own name like I was talking to myself for a second. <laughs> it's really confusing. I would like to extend a um, formal hello to all of the people in the stream who are lurking so hard like motherfuckers are trying to find them. Do you know what I mean? I'd like to once again welcome you to the 13th confession podcast i would like to encourage you guys to confess because no one's ever going to see this this channel's never going to get popular nobody's going to come back and watch these videos and there's probably something that i've done in the video that make it so that after the stream is done i won't even be able to archive it so people won't even be able to see it so feel free to get out what will make you feel better get the shit off your dress do you know what i mean but you know that's uh something that you you can elect to do. I am playing Lisa, a game that was gifted to me earlier. That was, you know, Stripes. She is drawing right now. She's hiccuping as well. She has drawn something that I requested her to draw. Rick and Morty, um, you know, in in her style. And, you know, they're, they're screwing around in a portal type situation. Because Portal is my favorite game. In your face, nerds. In your face. Oh, my God. So what are you up to, Stripes? Uh, I'm finishing inking. I don't know if I should stop at inking or uh, move on to color. What do you think? Um, do you like to color all at one time, or would it be something that you would enjoy better if you started and then stopped? Or would I you think, lose vision? I think coloring is the most uh, brain-dead part of it. So, it's also the most boring part of it, so I don't even know. But, you know, surely you have me to just light your cooch on fire as far as um no fire bad you know like <laughs> wet the cooch like a tropical rainforest you know fire bad oh yeah natasha says fine bros are gay for that fine bros are gay in general you know what i mean you guys got to be really really creatively bankrupt to consider reacting to content that doesn't belong to you as something noteworthy you know what i mean it's one thing to get attention for that but to pretend that it's something that is significant or culturally relevant, those niggas are fucking 
crazy. Those are the most Jewish people on the internet. And, you know, I, I'm not saying that I feel they deserve to burn in hell, but, you know, maybe, maybe they do. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. People don't know about what the situation is with those guys, but the bottom line is they're trying to, they're trying to license the act of doing something. Um, they're trying to put the react fucking tag as something that you know they should receive money for for anybody doing that and that's kind of nuts like if a little kid wants to have a react video to fucking pikachu and his deep ass voice he is entitled to that you don't own reactions but the fact that they're just like oh yeah you know do it through us so you can, we'll give you these tools and shit like this. You know how many emails I get on a daily basis from people saying, oh, bro, join our network. We're a leading network and we're going to offer you opportunities to do blah, 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 blah. And the bottom line is they're not offering me anything, literally. And what they want is a cut of what I make for doing nothing. And that's what these fine Jews want from these little kids. And the only reason it's fucked is because they have millions of subscribers that are brain dead morons because they're subscribed to a channel where people are reacting to things. Do you know what I mean? And they don't know better. And that's what true sin in my idea is. And I don't really give a damn. You know what I mean? People need to do what they need to do to make money. And if you're going to fuck over stupid people, then fuck over stupid people. But you should feel ashamed to a certain degree because holy shit, when these people are just so simple that they don't know better, like what is there to say? They didn't stand a chance. And they're just putty in your hands, man. It's better, to me, it's better fucking over somebody that knows better, that is electing to make this choice. It's like when people drink alcohol and then their levels get fucked up or they smoke cigarettes and then their, you know, their lungs get fucked up. Like, they knew what the fuck they were doing when they decided to do it. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. But, oh my God, when these little kids, they just don't understand. Oh, boy. Raccoon says, if I don't buy you Left 4 Dead 2 by 9 p.m. tomorrow, you can officially give me the title of huge fucking liar, Raccoon. Well, I wouldn't do that. I'm not trying to give people titles other than, you know, biggest hits in stream. <laughs> Throwing it over to Stripes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Dartro, this dude I know did this thing with this thing. He no longer has his thing. Oh, bro, that sounds terrible. Let's just hope that his thing and the Marklars can Marklar for all of our Marklar. Clayland Cloud, I'm back, bitches. I wish there were somebody here that recognized Clayland to just be like, oh, shit, SD Clayland. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my God, in the flesh, the real Clayland. Chris Saris, the idea of fan art is dumb, in my opinion. The reason I think of that is because on certain subjects, people get the wrong idea or make their own stories based on their assumptions, so it gets fucked. And that's why you think fan art is weird? That is, uh, Those seem like two completely different things that have nothing to do with each other. Man, Chris Saris, you wild as fuck. Natasha T. Oh my god, something crazy happened to me last weekend, I gotta confess. It may get broken up in two parts, that's fine. Mario Mystery Box, my nigga, how you doing? I'm doing straight, bitch. I mean, I'm doing straight, that's not something people say. Um, do people still say I'm Gucci? No, they don't. You know, you're my street correspondent expert here, Stripes, can you help me out? What, uh, what, do I, what am I supposed to say to how am I doing? Not depressed, right? Not depressed. not depressed. Yeah. Then you shoot like guns. You're like, not <laughs> depressed, bro. Yeah. Believable. <laughs> they look Jewish. Them fine niggas are Jewish as fuck, man. God damn. <laughs> I spewed out a whole bunch of swear words at school when I had the mental breakdown and was loud. So loud a teacher came in to see if everything was okay. Earlier, guys, Devin Morrell had a breakdown at school. Um, during which he decided to foot the fuck out of a toilet paper dispenser, you know, because that's, you know, a good outlet for your rage. At least it's not another human being. I really like the belt on Morty. You're doing a great job here, Strikes. You're, you you're mean doing... Rick? Oh, shit. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot going on, you know. My cock's out. I'm, I'm thinking about going to talk about... <laughs> I'm kidding. Not that. <laughs> not that. Forget it. Forget it. I spewed out a whole bunch of swear words at school. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody in the stream, Devin Morrell, in a fit of mental rage... He was just like, I fucking hate you, toy paper. And then, <laughs> then he broke it. Okay. 
And then earlier in the stream, Raccoon said he was playing Left for Dead, just having the time of his life, talking to a major babe that sounded so fucking hot. And she's all like, um, we can start talking. And then, like, apparently after talking for a while, they send each other nudes. They both send each other nudes. And after some confusion, Raccoon said... She was 13 years old. There you go. Natasha T. Fine Bro said they want to make a community where you can make React visits legally. Listen. Listen. They don't get to make the choice of whether or not making reaction videos is um, legal or not because they don't own it. Reaction videos existed before these fine bitches like swaggered their greasy asses onto youtube right so it would literally be like um mega 64 made a video where they were joking saying you know we're gonna talk copyright the term youtube video so now anybody who wants to make a video needs to go through the proper channels to do so otherwise we can take it down it would be me like me saying okay all right, I'm going to make an unboxing videos network and for you to make an unboxing video you need to pay me money right so that you can be a part of it. I'm going to provide you with icons and all of the tips and tricks on how to properly open up these boxes. You know, what end do you open it from? Where should you sit the camera? Do you know what I mean? How should you start the video? Shit like this. And now you need to give me a cut of what you make? Like, that's not how the fucking world works and it's never going to work that way. And my favorite part of the Mega64 videos when they were saying how like, oh, you know, we've made videos where we go outside and they've gotten popular. So now we're, we're gonna license outside videos any videos that are taken outside <laughs> you need to go through us to fucking make like get the fuck out of here these fine bros need to literally just find some knives and slit their wrists so hard and drink the blood and just die just die but i'm not saying that <laughs> but at the same time devin morell mr meyer i believe and i was just standing over the broken toilet paper thing you just stood over it like you killed a man, Devin? <laughs> I thought you broke it and you got out of there. Or you break it. You, you ever break something and then make it seem like it had nothing to do with you? Just go like, oh my god, like what? You know what I mean? Just like freaking like, what? This thing just brought you. Yeah, Yo, you, that's what you gotta do. You gotta be crazy. Arky Stano says, KK, Joseph Jewel, more confessions. Arky Stano says, I'm here. I'm way too late. Fuck. It's okay. Um, Mario Mystery Box says, I'm subscribed. And I appreciate that, Mario Mystery Box. Dude, I'm really behind the stream. Uh, Raccoon Just Got You Beat, says Ashy, Ash Lily Nico. Also, Arky, I was late. I was late like 20 minutes ago, and I still have no idea what is going on. Mr. Preaching Carrot, don't mind fan art. Anime is weird as fuck to be honest fucking asians man y'all people hating on anime it's just, it's just so weird <laughs> shut up stripes stripes hates anime and she doesn't even understand but she'll watch a a video where uh, you know a, a, an old man is just like you gotta lick my balls morty <laughs> secretly love minecraft <laughs> griefing what do i do internet guy if you really love griefing in minecraft like I think it's just a thrill of uh, knowing that you'll get a reaction out of something that somebody has spent time on that you can just undo. It's pretty pretty weird. Jeez, man. Arkistano. Anyway, on the 18th of December 2015, my friend got arrested for assaulting a bartender. Reasoned? He spoiled Star Wars. Well, maybe people shouldn't... Uh... To be honest, maybe people shouldn't be fucking asshats. You know what I mean? But it sucks that the bartender ends up with the last laugh because I doubt your friend got any good hits on him to teach him a lesson. You know what I mean? You give somebody a black eye, they could pretend that they didn't have any lessons learned. But, yo, you got a black eye. So, what the hell? Too long didn't read. Guy switched numbers with me. I googled his number, first name. Turns out he's a convicted rapist. Oh, damn, Natasha. You really do affiliate with the most interesting of people. Dartro says, I'm chewing on my t-shirt right now. Okay. <laughs> Kaylin Klen. Your name is pronounced Klen. Klaylin. There's a lot of letters in there for me to just ignore if your name's pronounced Klaylin. I said it the way that I say it, not the way that he wants it said. That's <laughs> fucked. Um, he even tried to come to my house because I said I was cooking. Cooking meth? Mario Mystery Box, we're going to need a bigger boat. Mr. Preaching Carrot, you're the new lion maker, man. 
You'll fuck up. You all fucked up. Jesus. Guys. You should like I should license confession live streams. Oh my god. He he worked installing security systems. He went to a service a woman's security system. He tried to rape a nineteen year old. Oh boy. At least she was legal on like these thirteen year old hotties I keep hearing about. Oh boy. Mario says his cock is above average. Arky Stano says even if it isn't a bee's nest. What the fuck are you people talking about? Chris says, when I was five, I was drying off after playing with the sprinkler, ass naked, outside sidewalk in front of neighbors. Well, you were five years old. It's not like somebody was in the window beaten off, (laughs) even though they probably were. Because that's the world we live in. Guys, you know, I've been paying attention to the stream chat, as I should be doing. Um, Kayla says, Kaylen, not Klen. And Mr. Preaching Carrot says, this podcast went from 0 to 10 real quick. What? Um, You're a bad omen. I'm playing Lisa, which is a, a depressing game about, you know, a world in which there aren't many women. And uh, some old guy that used to get beat up in his childhood found a a girl and tried to raise the girl. And now the girl's come of age and she's been kidnapped. So everybody's trying to... uh, Everybody's trying to rape the girl, you know, as is to be expected. You know, I'm on a mission to, to find this girl before she gets raped. But let's be serious, man. The likelihood is that... Oh my... So there was a man hanging and I walked below him and blood from his body fell on me and did a hundred damage. That's gross. Devin Morell says, once I was walking home from school and a jerk that made me and the jerk that made me have the breakdown like messaged me like, fuck you and like, you're gay. Who made you have the breakdown? Get to the heart of the story, Devin. You've been telling the story for what seems like an hour now. And, like, we've only been getting bits and pieces, like, every five minutes. Because initially, the Devin goes, initially, Devin goes, I broke a, I broke a, a toilet paper roll. And we were <laughs> like, hey, it's not that big a deal. You know, people do this stuff all the time. And then I applauded him. I was like, yeah, this is a practical fucking... Mm. This is a practical fuck up that you've established. I'm proud. You know, it's not that big a deal. Move on with your life. And I even went as far as to say that, you know, I don't even use the toilet paper rolls in my bathroom. And then he goes, when I had a mental breakdown at school. (laughs) And I was like, because I already know that that's incomplete. And I'd completely forgotten what he said before that. I went back and saw that he had, in fact, been completing that. And now he's just, man, he's hitting us with the juice. Mario Mystery Box. Peach has no ash. She can only give good head. I'll take that into consideration. Mr. Preaching. Well, that and rape. These confession streams are great, says Natasha T. Oh, Raccoon. I'm gonna go ready. I'm gonna go read shitty 4chan green texts and jerk off. Have fun playing Lisa, Kyle. You know, I'm thinking about reading some green texts from 4chan, but I just don't know where to start. It's all been done before. It's all been done before on 4chan. Somebody made like a, a feels video of like of like 4chan green text feels text. I should do that. And then just like ham it the fuck up and make it like totally outrageous. Hey, I can rest in this little tent. That's so kawaii. That is so kawaii. <laughs> Dartro says, this game reminds me of a dirty anime I saw. Natasha T, I would love to watch you pl- <gasps> How about I just came out of this tent that I was sleeping in, Stripes, and yeah. a man was waiting outside it to bust me in the head with a fucking bat? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you're still alive, aren't you? I guess. I guess. Natasha T says, I masturbated to a couple of episodes of Ping Pong Club. It's not even a hentai, but she wrote hentowl. I guess that's the new hentowl. Fucking, I will take the confessions to the grave. Kawaii, go fuck yourself. 
please read green text a 45 minute video i'll listen to it at work um i'm still trying to get you to read anime horror stories for me like weave horror stories i should say where those ones on that weird reddit i think you need to find good ones because those can't be good I'm not worried. It's like, I don't care enough to dig for it. And I know you don't care enough to dig for it. So nobody wins. Nobody wins. Also, my GF lives in Texas while I'm in Wisconsin. Need a fleshlight. Peach's pussy was destroyed by the, that ape. I love anime, says Claylin. Fuck this phone. I remember when I broke my next door neighbor's TV by hitting it with a yo-yo. At least that's what the neighbor said, but I think he's just full of shit. Okay. I can send you like 600 million green texts. I've saved too many. But I mean something that hasn't been done before. Send me, somebody, some people send me like creepy ones. What you consider like some of the best creepy green texts. And I want to make a big, not creepy, because those have been done obviously. Feels, feels green texts. Read Big Read Big Bang Adult Fan Fiction. Oh God, no! Oh God, no! Fanfics, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna find some fanfics. Right? I remember. Right. I remember. I read one while I was uh doing like an anime build. You guys don't what know is, shit about that. That thing's like ancient. But what you does guys, that mean? Okay, like I'll show you. Um, I built a Fennekin. Fennec and Kyle. See if I type that into Google, what comes up. Do you, oh, you, is this the Minecraft? The audio portion of this video. What? Is is this a Minecraft thing? Yeah, this video oh. is ancient, guys. This video is ancient, but in it, I speed. <gasps> Kayla says that she was an escort for like three years. From age 21 to 24-ish. Tell us some stories, Kayla. Kayla's got that pretty face. And she's probably got a body to match. Where it's like, yeah, she could do that kind of stuff. Oh, did it ever go, um... Did it ever go too far? Did anyone try to do something that you weren't comfortable with, Kayla? Tell us some stories. Yeah, guys, I totally read some fanfics. I totally read some fanfics. Of course it's good money. Like, a good-looking escort? Holy shit. She doesn't need to... Like, a good-looking escort that's willing to do that for a long time can pay off her house and not have to do anything for the rest of her life. Like, holy shit. He's dead. I don't want to walk by that guy. 10 damage. Ain't that some shit? What about that um, Silver Surfer comic that every I'm sure everyone's clamoring for? You know, aside <laughs> from me. You, you are wild, girl. How long <laughs> have we been doing this? Because you must be getting tired of it. No, no. Tell me how long, though. How do I know how long? How long have I been? An uh, hour and forty-one minutes. We've been doing this for two hours again. We've got to stop. These should be an hour in length. Oh, man, these should be an hour in length. Oh, and I need to figure out Leffert at you. So I'm going to go do that. And then, oh, my God. But seriously, Kayla says, Kayla says, um. Let's give it 20 more minutes. Maybe she'll. Uh... Arky Stano says, uh, Kyle knows everything about escorts. Hmm, sounds suspicious. Dude, I'll tell you what I know everything about. Basic women. Okay. Not saying that all basic women um, would escort or that all ace escorts are basic women, but I know a lot of women who have done this type of thing and they do make good money. Do you see what I'm saying? Like sometimes they make money proportionate to how, how, um, you know, good looking they are, I would say. And some of even the ugly ones make great money and it doesn't fucking make sense. Um, Natasha says, I have cringe fanfics you could read from when I was in seventh grade. They are bad. Look, all of y'all know my email. Go click the fucking about Kyle section on the channel and send me some shit to my email so I can, you know, sort out what's read, what's worth reading. Um, Kayla says it never went too far. There were definitely creepy fuckers, 
but I had a crazy good setup. The money was insane. It was more than I knew what to do with. That's, you know, I already know that. And it just sucks. At the end of the day, sometimes the only thing that I'm truly upset about sometimes is that I'm not a fucking woman. Because what I could do with a pussy that, you know, I don't even need to put out there, do you know what I mean? To make that cash is outrageous. Like... It's really easy, like, with being an escort, if you're attractive, um, to to kind of transcend up into that high-class escort business where you got people that are going to watch your back. I mean, to be honest, that's, like, the hardest part is not getting killed <laughs> or kidnapped or something. Once you've established some kind of system, you're good. It's locked. It's locked. What's going on here? How am I supposed to get across? Oh, wow. Ashy just filled like a whole bunch of bullshit in the stream. What's going on here? Are you going to go see the new Deadpool movie? Devin Morrell, everybody owes it to themselves to go watch that Deadpool mo movie. Even if we don't end up liking it or don't think it's going to be good, we need to contribute to uh, Marvel lending money to R-rated Marvel flicks. Because we haven't seen an R-rated Marvel flick since fucking uh, Blade. With Isn't Wesley this Snipes. coming from Fox? What? Isn't this coming from Fox? I don't, don't know they who the hell it's coming from, honestly. Uh, I think they own the rights to Deadpool and Spider-Man for now. Sp Isn't Spider-Man Sony? I'm not sure. Um, what do I know about Marvel, though? You're so bad. We need to get you into Marvel shit, and that's going to happen soon. Nah... Wait, Natasha says I even have a Final Fantasy IX Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh God, there's it's like a cross fanfic. That sounds terrible. That sounds fucking terrible. Oh guys, Ash, Lily, Nico. Well, Natasha, since you keep bringing up fanfics, I have a fanfic related question. Okay, I'm gonna send you a couple of stories after the stream. Um, bitch, do ignore me. I'll pay. Do ignore me. I'll pay. I'll pay you to ignore me. Wow. Guys, when I was in fifth grade, I had a serious obsession with Dragon Ball Z. Started writing fanfics. Parents were bad at technology. It was 2001. So this ended up in me discovering hentai. By this point, I had started making everyone at home and school call me by my fanfic name because apparently I was emotionally disturbed. One day, my mom found a fanfic of mine. Uh-oh. This is about to get good. Um, just my luck. It was 20 plus page hentai fanfic that my mom found and read and confronted me about it. I was 11 and a chick. Dude, you were a girl when you were 11 years old, but not anymore. Okay. <laughs> the, the operation's a success. You know what she was like? She was probably like Tina from Bob's Burgers and she's just writing all her fanfics like, uh... <laughs> I was 11. Most embarrassing talk of my life. Later on, that was Later on, what was worse is she told me she wasn't as disturbed by the fact that I had written it, but at how good it was. <sighs> hey, guys, look, if you if you watch quickly, you can see the credibility of this story flying the fuck out of the, out of the window. So like your mom stopped you as an 11 year old little bitch and was like, look, this is the juiciest fucking fan fiction I have ever read in my life. I'm into Star Trek. OK. Your father and I used to watch the Star Trek and we used to always go, man, wouldn't it be great if Darth Vader from Star Wars could give to business to name some fucking <laughs> name, some female character like Beverly Crusher or something. I don't know, man, you know, but for her to just be like, this is incredible and I'm proud of you. And then and then what, Ash, you went on to write Fifty Shades of Grey. What, is that what it's called? It's called Fifty Shades of Grey, right? How would I know? Do you, do you expect me to read it? If it was like 30 shades, then I'd be wrong and everybody would be like, he doesn't even know what the movie's called. <laughs> uh, but at first, how good it was. This still disturbs me to this day. I never wrote fanfics again. Well, that's a fun confession, guys. <sighs> Fuck my life, seriously. Fifty Shades of Goku. Oh, man, somebody already beat me to the reference in the damn stream. <laughs> Oh, Ash Lily Nico. Nah, fuck that guy. It was all Vegeta. And yeah, I was that chick for a while. Everybody was comparing me to Vegeta at that age, and I couldn't stand it. Hey, I can do a pretty good Vegeta impression, I think. 
Go on. It's probably going to be really loud. Okay, hold on, hold on. (laughs) Damn you, Kakarot! No, it's pretty bad right now. (laughs) It's not going to (laughs) happen. Wait. I am the prince of all Saiyan. I don't know. It's somewhere in there. It's somewhere in there. I'll get it later. I'll record it later. Nah, fuck that guy. It was all about Vegeta. Bulma's briefs, the hentai. Oh my god. Guys, I have a fanfic about Knuckles and Sonic having three kids named Sankles. (laughs) Are they they all named Sankles? (laughs) Sankles, dude. Some things really get to me, so I gotta I gotta hit Vibraber, which I came up with from Spook and Sankles. Vibrator Sankles, thirteen year old hentai. Okay, that's how I remember these things. Um oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You've got fucked up parents? Mm-hmm. L M A F O. Wait, L M F A O. No, she told me that it was good. When I was like 22 and it got brought up for some god awful reason again. Oh, that's even worse. That's hilarious. You were the weirdest 11 year old. Um, just the tip of the iceberg. I'm still crazy as fuck. If you say so, Ash, I feel like we'd have heard about this if you were if you were that intense now, you know. If you were like adult Tina Belcher from Bob's <laughs> Burgers. Cringe inbound. Holy fucking tits. And ham, I made a server. I mean a stream. You know, Ashark, I'm about to be done here, unfortunately. Kankles. <clears throat> you know, there's this girl in, uh, we used to call this girl, uh, Kankles when I was in high school because, like, honestly, it, n- those ankles were non existent. It was just like a fucking, imagine, like, some ham, right? That was, like, <laughs> chopped and it just went straight into the foot. It was the scariest <laughs> thing you've ever seen. And, like, yo, like, you ever, <laughs> you ever consider, like, you ever have somebody that's really conservative that, you know, is never, you know, almost not not usually laughing, definitely doesn't partake in things as uh, as eccentric or, you know, potentially mean as laughing at somebody or something that's different about somebody. I just remember the one day that I was like, hey, yo, look at that girl ankles and the people looked right <laughs> everybody was just like like was really struggling to keep it to themselves it's like yo you're awful no lady lady spook said sankles made me cry i think her and i are the same page with the sankle shit what's going on with sankle (laughs) it's brilliant it's a fucking genius It's fucking genius. Uh, they were all named. How about shit. how about Nukik? Sankles <laughs> <laughs> and Nukik. <laughs> so, yeah, th- and then he said, "Name them Sankles." All three of them were named Sankles. <laughs> Sankles one, Sankles two. No, bro. Kayla says, I typed out a pretty good confession related to the previous, but it failed to post. Fuck it now, though. Maybe next time. Good night, guys. I kind of regret that one. It's not your fault. I'm really interested in you being an escort, Kayla. I feel like there's just this this untapped reservoir of shit going on in you. We'll get it out one of these days. Natasha T, pretty sure we all are as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, guys, so many hysterical, yo, sankles. Then all of a sudden, these three dudes come, and there's a truck, and look, I need to save this game, because we've been streaming for two hours when I keep telling myself these will never go past an hour, and that's bad. You know, unfortunately, this was like the dullest, because there's no music on, and I thought this game would have music, but it didn't, and, you know, it's cool, and I'm glad I have it. Wait, what did he just say? Okay, I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. People keep saying that the chick was ugly, and that's kind of rude. And now what I chick? have to walk by by this guy. Thank you. Okay, great. I thought I was gonna make it by him. I really did. I really thought I could just make it by that guy. I really did. 
Oh boy, Sankles, Nukik, and the third just has some really fucking generic name. Sankles is my waifu, and he's also my Dragon Ball Xenoverse custom character. Uh, can you imagine how ridiculous um me playing uh I really want to do that. At some day someday I'm going to get Naruto and I'm going to play it because I can't play games. I can't play fighting games well. It's just the bottom line. But when I put Rock Lee on in fucking uh in fucking Naruto, I can just press any fucking button and button mash my way to victory and it's so cheap and rude and I love it. Time to write Kyle X Sankles X Nukic fan fiction. <laughs> Uh, trying to trigger me? Oh my god, Sonic every night. I pray to Sonic every night. Man, y'all are... <sighs> Alright, guys. Let me see if I have skills with Terry. No skills. Let me see if I have hints. Use disparaging words to upset the opponent. This can either make them cry or get them pissed. Well, there's only one way to find out. Terry is being hurtful. There was no effect. Is the enemy's name Bobby Diddle? That's a good stage name. Brad yeah. is crying. Why are we crying? Bobby Diddle's a great stage name. You're crazy. <laughs> Claylin says, you skipped my confession. Let's go up to Claylin's confession. Jeez. Um, Claylin, when I was 12, I broke into a boy I liked locker and put a pad... And a tampon in there. Claylin, you're not a girl. Stop the bullshit. Okay? Okay, look. I know everybody in the stream wants to be the big tittied, you know, stripes that you all want to be. But let's face it. Inside and out, you're all 13-year-olds wanting to play Left 4 Dead 2 with Kyle. And you can do that if you get me Left 4 Dead 2 on stream right now. <laughs> but... Um, Ash says Lollipop Chainsaw and One Chan Bada are my faves for button mashing. So much blood and tits. I've actually never played both of those. And if I were going to play a game where I was playing as a girl and I were going nuts, I'd play Bayonetta. Because people say that game is also like fun and button mashy, but at the same time it's like hard as fuck. And I don't understand that. How's the game hard as fuck? Yet, you know. Stop giving him health. What is negative two damage? I'm so done with this shit. I'm literally just trying to get to a save point. Claylin says, I'm a girl gamer, um, that's right, I'm a girl and I play games, so, yeah, you can find me in Call of Duty, that's my favorite fucking game, and, you know, sometimes I play other stuff like Skyrim, um, yeah, I'm a nerd, so original. My intestines are in disarray. Okay, guys. Guys, I have enjoyed the stream with you all. I almost, I honestly can't handle where this went towards the end of the stream check email Kyle yes I'll check the email for these uh, green tech stories I really want some green text feels stories you know what I mean because um, I'm probably gonna make, whip together some kind of video then uh, back when I was in school we had gender shared toilets really went to take a piss turns out some girl is stuck a used tampon on the other side of the door so I turned around and got the smell right in my face Ew. Mario mystery box says I have big boobs <laughs> I meant like it counts if you're a girl you know <laughs> Natasha T I'm a gamer girl if all you guys are gamer girls add me on Steam and then you know tell me lies about it um uh, feels bad man I'm also a gamer girl John Whitehead, my confession is that I'm a tunnel snake and I rule. You you guys in the fucking... I would like to once again thank Stripes for contributing something actually noteworthy, exciting, and, you know, a display of skill in this uh, stream. Thank you so much, Stripes. You're welcome. I'm glad I could be here tonight. This is coming out looking way better than, you know, it should. Tell you what, guys. Tomorrow I'm hoping to, you know, mix up another confession stream. And I'm going to be playing Civ with Stripes. Um, you I know, what? I want to make a joke about roping me in, but honestly, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to be we're gonna be Civ'ing hard tomorrow. So tune in for what's sure to be the most riveting and hilarious Civ, Civ fucking stream you've ever in your life seen. Not because I dislike this game, but because I just don't think enough is getting done. Whereas, you know... 
I'm sure my hilarious names for the civilizations that I establish are going to make you guys just fucking laugh into the night. Holy crap, look at her go. She is just destroyed. I have, uh, I've requested that she draw Rick and Morty in the style of, uh, you know, her animation style, but also incorporate Portal into it somehow, and she's done it, and this is looking pretty hot, and I'm loving it, balls. I'm loving it so far. We'll finish this someday. But to be honest, it's pretty much already finished. I call it picture. It's pretty much already finished. I'd like to thank you all for being here. And um, hopefully if you're not busy, you know, we'll be able to do this again tomorrow. I'm going to try and do it earlier in the day if you guys are cool with that. So earlier in the day, hopefully we can get done. Robot 9000 or whatever is good for feels threads. I'll go check that out, Ash. Thank you. Raccoon says, I need to stop with this shit. Stop with what shit? Um, Arkisano, I shall contribute with something noteworthy. KL has no skills. That's why he can't get 15,000 subs. Um, okay, Arky. I didn't know. I didn't know skill came into it. Interesting. I'm sending you some stories. Yes, yeah, send them to my email. I'm sending you some Left 4 Dead 2 for reading my bullshit. Oh, well, that might, uh, that might rustle my Jimmy's ash. If you know what I'm talking about. Barely. Hey, guys, you know that there's an emoji tab in chat. Oh, guys, look, I'm going to get out of here before any of that. I don't really need any of that. Yeah. Okay. KL. Yeah, that's the you fucking people. Have a great night, guys. I'm glad that you made it. Jesus Christ. Look at her go in the she drew something legit while we were in the stream chat and playing and being stupid. You know, what have we done with our lives while she's. <sighs> well, she's done good things. I don't have any skill. Well, actually, I'm pretty amazing at video games. Let's be real. I'm gonna turn that into um, you know, when I when I break into the Pentagon. Look, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>